uh, Florence Eshalomi. Thank you, Sir Charles, and it's a pleasure to serve under your chairmanship. And just to thank my neighbouring colleague in the cities of London and Westminster for securing this really important debate and for her important work on this issue over the last few months. My constituency in Vauxhall is so close to Westminster and we have a fantastic cultural centre. It contains so many of Britain's iconic cultural institutions, familiar landmarks that to many people around the world. The London Eye, the National Theatre, the BFI along the South Bank Centre, and of course the South Bank Centre itself, whose origins date back to the Festival of Britain. And it also houses the Hayward Gallery and the Royal Festival Hall, the home to the London Philharmonic Orchestra. The South Bank area in my constituency doesn't only contribute to our culture's enormous identity, but it generates so much income and employment. And my constituents work in a number of these organisations, but the many auxiliary bars, hotels, restaurants and shops that support millions of tourists and visitors every year. These are skilled freelancers and they need our support, the backstage workers. Without them, they would not be able to work and these organisations would not function. And alongside these big, hard-hitting cultural heritage sites, we have smaller but no less important sites, live music venues and theatres, like the Young Vic Theatre and the historic Royal Vauxhall Tavern. And what makes them so special, aside from their cultural importance, is that they are embedded in the communities where they are located. They bring a cultural, economic and social enrichment to the lives of our residents in the form of employment, artistic and creative support programmes. Last month, I had the honour of attending a socially distanced 50th anniversary celebration for the Young Vic Theatre. The Young Vic is an incredible, innovative theatre embedded in schools and in the community. And under the leadership of the inspiring playwright and director, Kwame Koyama, it runs a year-round programme for residents championing diversity and those people who are traditionally underrepresented in the arts and culture. This is so important. But these organisations, from the smaller theatres to the big ones, will continue to suffer under financial challenges of COVID. And we've seen a dramatic footfall in audiences, and in some cases, no audiences whatsoever. Now, many of my constituents who work in the sector will not return to business as usual, even as the lockdown eases, and they will continue to be hit hard. And in July, I welcomed the government's financial support, but it's now October and we haven't seen that money come through. So can the minister today confirm when the theatres will finally see this money and lobby the Chancellor to ensure that our amazing culture sector gets the targeted support it needs? Yeah. Yeah.